One small step for man, a giant leap for mankind. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has announced plans to sell $1 billion worth of the retail giant shares every year to fund his Blue Origin rocket venture, with the goal of launching paying passengers on 11-minute space rides starting next year. I want Blue Origin to be a thriving enterprise and to help open the gateway to this new generation of people who will have this dynamic entrepreneurial explosion in space. That's what we're going to do, and that can only be done if it's sustaining. Um, but, while, but it's a long road to get there, and I'm happy to invest in it. But tourism isn't the only sector of the space race with growth potential. The market for global satellite services is vast, encompassing, for starters, imaging satellites and commercial communications, like satellite TV, radio, and broadband. According to the 2016 State of the Satellite Industry report, the global satellite industry grew 3 percent in 2015. That's slightly above worldwide economic growth and U.S. growth. And the number of players in the industry is expanding, with new entrants like Vector Space Systems, a private American company credited with creating the world's smallest satellite launcher rocket. What we're really seeing is a new model, kind of a vertical integration method, where we have these companies that come in, they build their own uh, rockets, they build their own engines, they design all the parts for it, and then they provide a service to companies saying, okay, I can launch your satellite into orbit, into this orbit for you. Um, so, and then, of course, you have some flashy CEOs like Bezos and Elon Musk. So, you know, it's just an interesting time because I think we're shifting to a new type of doing business, a new way of doing business in the space industry. A new way of doing business and perhaps a new way of launching rockets. Just last week, Elon Musk's SpaceX conducted its first successful launch of a recycled orbital class booster, a Falcon 9 rocket that was recovered at sea from its maiden flight last year. Musk hailed the achievement as a revolutionary step in his quest to slash costs and shorten intervals between launches. Costs are also falling for rocket launch prices. This week, United Launch Alliance dropped the price of its workhorse Atlas V rocket flights by about one-third in response to mounting competition from rival SpaceX and others. There's usually in all these businesses a tipping point. If you get enough volume, you can start to drop costs and achieve economies of scale. I think we're pretty far away from there, but every additional success and every additional unit of demand for these services from corporations or entities does increase that. And if enough people go into this business and try hard enough and long enough, we'll get there. Industry experts will be keeping an eye on the private sector in particular to push new boundaries and drive new satellites and perhaps one day tourists into orbit.